what's good lovies welcome back to my channel happy new year happy 2018 i hope 2018 is treating you guys all right good better than 2017 you know what i'm saying 2017 he can't cross um so today i wanted to share with you guys a little something that i wanted to add to my channel i decided to make this channel separate from the family vlog channel for one just to share a lot of the things that i personally enjoy doing and i feel like this is the perfect platform for me to let out all of my creativity be it makeup be it fashion be it sewing diys and crafts and some of you may know or you may not know but i am a huge diyer i love to sew here's my singer tradition here that i got for my birthday for 2017 if you guys haven't seen that vlog i'll link it somewhere below so you can go check out that on the family vlog channel um but I enjoy sewing so much. I come from a family of sewers. My grandmother would make her own patterns from newspaper. That's what my mother told me. I remember growing up, my mother would make clothing items for me as well. And I've always had this busy creative energy where I'm constantly doing something, you know? So um, I am so 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 interested in showing you guys a lot of the things that I do on my downtime or you know time that I could squeeze it in here in Dubai before we leave guys we're about to leave Dubai I cannot believe it anyway that's a whole nother story whole nother situation um I do want to share with you guys a lot of the things that I have been doing because I believe it's not only me, me like many other women out there are multi-layered, we are multi-talented, we are able to do many different facets of different things and this is just one layer to who I am and I wanted to share that with you guys and I hope you enjoy that. Um, there'll still be some beauty things, I'm not leaving that behind, I mean, you know. And excuse this a uh, day five six seven hair y'all I don't it's time to wash it and I need somebody to come help me so anyway I have my computer here with my notes I wanted to go ahead for this video in particular share with you guys uh, the items that I was able to make in November slash December time um if some of you are from the table for seven family vlog channel <laughs> and you come over here hey um you may remember that i had a friend come visit me recently and while she was here we tried to get some sewing and stuff in and i had not been motivated prior to that i had not found anything to really inspire me and helping her um out and try you know us just bonding and having that girl time trying to sew and things like that um, it kind of sparked something in me again, and I have been on it ever since then. So I have stolen a corner, actually, I've stolen a wall in my son's bedroom. I have my sewing table here and all my little crafty goodies and things like that. So today we're going to be talking about my November slash December makes. Excuse me, my throat. I don't know what's happening with me. So I have my tea here, and I'm just going to partake here and there y'all have to excuse me i can't get sick i can't excuse me um my husband is away right now in the united states for business uh, <clears throat> for a business trip and he was recently promoted so he has things that he needs to do there and i'll be here with the kids by myself for three weeks and guh i just can't sleep have y'all i don't know i just feel like i need to be alert at all times just in case something go down i gotta pop off and jump you know i just have to be alert anyway so let's get into these makes y'all all this rambling pray for me so the first thing i'm going to share with you guys is not quite finished um this is the named patterns sewinto kimono top and um everything is done except for the neckline, I have to finish him my neckline. So here is the wrap tie. And let me share something with you guys as well. I don't have access to a lot of things here in Dubai. 
I have been able to find an Ankara shop where they sell lots of wax prints and African prints and things like that. So um, I've been to that shop maybe three times since we've lived here. Here comes my son. Yes, baby. My baby son. Yes, baby. Okay. You want to get that? Okay, you can take it. You want to say hi? Hi. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> say my name is Eli. My name is Eli. That's right. Okay, you're going to let mommy finish? That's my toy. That is your toy. Okay, I love you. Go downstairs. What are they? Yes. That's one of the eyes. Okay. And this one, this one is the trampoline thing. Mm-hmm. Guy white back heel. Mm-hmm. Then you can pull it. Okay, loveys. I got five kids, so. Okay, so what was I saying? Oh, this is oh. Thing. Oh, I don't really have access to a lot of different things here. I just recently, within the past couple weeks, found a craft store that actually carried fabric. So, a lot of my makes are going to be made of wax print or Ankara or bed sheets. <laughs> so, we can get fitted sheet sets and things like that fairly cheap here. It's like 12 durham for a fitted sheet which is like three dollars or some four dollars something like that so um it's 100 percent cotton some of them i found like this one here i don't know if you can see it let me see it might be too bright with the lights isn't that pretty it's so cute i think we're gonna make a shift dress out of this anyway this one is like a cotton polyester maybe a band i don't know what it is uh, but it's a nicer fabric but it it was a fitted sheet so that is what you will see it is very cost efficient to make my wearable muslins this way a lot of the items that i did create were um just to try things out my wearable muslins like this one right here but it's really cute um once i wash it again because i was too lazy to wash it before i started sewing um it'll soften up a little bit but anyway this is the suintu kimono top by name patterns it's an indie pattern company a lot of the patterns that i have are indie patterns that i've had to um, print out because they're pdfs um, taped together do all that good kind of stuff because i can't find that, um, patterns here either and to ship them here is ridiculous i will not do that um so this is basically what the fabric on this one looks like it's like um black and it has ombre doohickeys on it <laughs> and uh here is what the top oh there was a pin the top the top looks like i'll take pictures in these items and put them at some point in the video not sure if i'm gonna do it you know here here at the end i don't know y'all see what it's done um but it's basically really cute it has cute little kimono finishings um just a basic rolled over hem and the kimono style neckline i kind of wish that the neckline had the same kind of facing and sleeves but that's just me being me picky um for reference if you guys are similar to my size or not i'm gonna give you my measurements you know just for reference um and look we're not gonna judge i said i have five kids okay so my bust measurement is 38 and a half my waist measurement is 35 i know i'm working on it don't talk about me behind my back and my hip measurements are 43 and a half so um i do have a couple half sizes there not a lot of patterns tend to give you half sizes so i round up um in those instances but one thing is a lot of things i've made have ended up being too big i don't know anyway 
so that's one thing this is like a girlfriend chit chat situation so if y'all have made it this far y'all really rock with me <laughs> and i love you you know what i'm saying i love you so let's move on to the next thing it is this and car top that i made for my middle daughter imani um i just used a t-shirt that she had in her drawer and drafted this pattern um for her so it's a not a short sleeve it's like a half sleeve top with a peplum on it so cute um and a zipper in the back because y'all know Ann card does not stretch so you know there's a little zipper in the back so she can get in it's the peplum is slightly asymmetrical. I thought that was really cute instead of just a um, basic circle around the thing because I'm extra. Um, so that is another one of the makes. I wish that I knew how to, not, I'm not going to say that. I am going to learn this year to make my own neck facings and things like that because I think that in, instead of the regular fold over, fold over, hemming finish i did on this top a facing would have been much better um, but again i drafted the pattern myself so <laughs> okay my next make is this cute little clutch out of this anchor fabric and i kind of wish i would have been thinking about the pattern more but anyway it's cute um i did a little metal snap situation i don't know if you can see it here it was really quick it took me a good 15 minutes maybe to make this little clutch situation it's really cute really soft I can just put my phone and stuff in there grab it we out um my next one I don't have these up here in any particular order so this one is a December slash January I started this one late December and then it became Christmas time and I ended up finishing it um around New Year's time so it's like December January but I'm gonna show it to you anyway um these are the flint cropped um pants from Megan Nielsen I'll insert a photo so y'all can see what it looks like on the website these things are so cute and I made look at this did I make them too big? But we can work with them. Um, it has a cute little tie on the side. And the tie on the side is the closure for the pants. That's like the pocket there. It has slip pockets. The light is bright. Here it is. It has these cute slip pockets here. And a super wide cropped leg. Y'all know that the cropped culotte situation is coming back with a vengeance and I love them I've always loved um gauchos or culottes or whatever you want to call them um this is out of a bed sheet as well y'all can see on the inside <laughs> this is made out of bed sheet as well but I love this pattern y'all I'm going to make this again in Ankara because I think that'll be super dope. I'm going to, me thinking because my waist is so large, the largest size on the pattern sheet for the waist said 34 inches and I'm 35 and don't nobody want no muffin top or to be feeling like the life is being squeezed out of your center of pieces. So I moved the button over to give me some more space and I didn't need to do that. So in my future pair of pants, I'm going to use the markings that they have used um, to guide you where to put your buttons and your buttonholes and things. And these will definitely fit much better. I love them. I'm still gonna wear these, even though they're made out of a bed sheet and they're probably gonna wrinkle like no eyes business, but guess what? I'm wearing them. The next thing, oh my gosh, y'all, the next thing. Okay, so what got me so hyped about PDF patterns? Because honestly, I really had not even, I mean, the thought had not even crossed my mind. But I was surfing YouTube, as I always do, and I came across a solo video with Mimi G, whom everybody loves, and it was for this Jessica dress. And I was like, wait, what? What's that? It's like a sweetheart neckline strapped dress with a fitted bodice and a gathered 
skirt with gigantor pockets. I heard the angel sing, the heavens opened up, the bright light shone on me, and I pressed enter. Bye. Thank you. So, I have this in car here. I wore this on a date with my hubba's. And he seems to like it. I love it. This is the end card print that I've chosen. Let me show y'all these giant pockets. This is like, this is basically what sold me on this. Okay, so maybe, I hope y'all can see. But this is one side of the pocket. Here's the other side of the pocket. And it goes all the way down to here. Y'all, I'm going to definitely put a few pictures of this one in. Me wearing it so you can see it. I like to style it like she did. Um, I wore some distressed jeans underneath my dress. I think jeans under dresses. Yeah, that's a thing and I love it. That's my zhuzh. So I made mine a little bit long. It goes down past my calf but not quite to my ankle. Um, and I'm 5'2", so that may seem a little bit long but I wear sky high heels, so it kind of evens itself out. Um, I have to wear sky high heels. My husband's 6'3", and I'm 5'2". So, anyway, the next thing, I feel like I made a lot of stuff in December. <laughs> Jessica was the only thing that I made. This one right here was the only thing that I made in November. Everything else I made in December, so. The next thing I made was... Um, a pin that I saw on Pinterest and it's the rectangular poncho wrap thing where you lay the fabric out and you cut out a small little thing and that's your poncho I'm definitely gonna have to show you guys that in a picture but it matches baby girls peplum which is amazing and I decided to um, draft an obi belt to go with it so I just drew up some the girl said it looks like a wrestling belt but you know how it goes you put this part on your waist and it wraps around a couple of times so I drafted an obi belt to go along with it or to wear with other things as well so this one was fun and quick and didn't take long at all for me to finish this one love the belt it's gonna look cute with like an oversized white button down yes honey and cinched in the waist y'all know how they're doing that corset thing eh, it's cute but the obi belt might be bae um next on my list one second it's getting tall over here y'all okay next thing on my list um is another mimi g thing but it's not a pdf pattern she did a video on how to draft your own um, wrap skirt situation. And so that's what I did. There's like a printable that she had where you put your measurements and then add this and then subtract that and then you divide and then just where this goes and all that kind of stuff. So um, if I can find the video, I'll link it down in the description bar below. I have a baby in here sleep with me y'all. It's evening time, it's the only time I have to film. So anyway. Um, Hers was a mini version, and as cute as that is, I have a three and a four year old that I run behind. So the shortness was just not gonna work for my lifestyle at this point. If I'm on vacation with Boo, Bay, Boo Jank, my babe, my husband, my, you know, him, then I'll shorten that hem line up a little bit. But I did make mine to the knee just so if I sat down, the wrap wouldn't expose all my goodies. Cause they're not for sale you know anyway so here's this one out of that same fabric you have to see it on because me holding it up for you is not gonna do anything for you and then i have this gray line studios hemlock tea hack so the hemlock tea i think i got it as a free Think. don't hold me to that I'll check and see um, and it's designed for knits but it was the perfect kind of boxy shape that I needed for this hack that I had in mind I saw a video by youtuber Kim Dave and I'll try to link her information all this stuff I gotta link down I'll try to link her information down below but she did this cute little boxy crop with ties down the back and I was just like yes girl yes that's you're speaking my language and so I did kind of the same thing this is the back of y'all can't see y'all gonna have to see so here's the back of the 
um, shirt. I did a V shape in the back and there are three sets of ties um, down the back of the shirt like this um, and it is quite boxy in shape which I need because I am wide from the side. She ain't little in the middle. Um, here it is. And I found that after I made it, I can reverse it and wear it as a blazer with the ties hanging down the front, which I absolutely, I love multitasking items in my closet. The next item, I, what is these little things? Anyway, the next item I absolutely love. I did make it too big. I need to grade smaller in the bust area because I ain't gonna. So I need to grade smaller in the bust area and then accommodate for all of the rest. So this is the Dove blouse by Megan Nielsen. And um, I made the um, View 3, version 3, with the giant bell sleeves which I absolutely love. This again is a bed sheet. <laughs> and um, this is gonna be a wearable muslin. I think this is gonna, I wanted it to be a more dressy type of situation, but because I made it so big in the waist, I just cut a straight size instead of grading. Like I should have, I should have known to do that, but I did not. Um, this is gonna be worn with like sneakers and things like that instead of how I intended it to be warm that's okay because it was such a quick sew and easy sew that I think I'm gonna make a few more I think I'm gonna make the flare sleeve as well I want to probably wait until I get to the states and get some more fabrics that I love 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 um, some softer things we'll be heading back to the states in the winter time so I want to do some warmer knit type things with this silhouette with silhouette <laughs> this silhouette i absolutely love it the v-neck is perfect because i'm short and thicker than a snicker and i want to elongate and these sleeves are just fun what are you gonna do they're just fun the last thing i have is a fail oh my gosh it's such a fail so let me get it <laughs> this is Oh, I have all of my PDF patterns over here at my next, my January things that I'm working on. So I'm trying not to roll those. So another pattern company other than Megan Nielsen that I absolutely, and Mimi G, that I absolutely love is Tilly and the Buttons. I think it's a UK based situation. And they have a jumpsuit called the Marigold Jumpsuit. I think it's they call it a jumpsuit but you can make it as a trouser um, or the jumpsuit and I saw another girl on Pinterest hack the top into just the little crop top situation so I was like well that would be cute I could wear all different type of ways I cut the size it's so big <laughs> so she doesn't go with traditional sizing like 0264 she has one through eight and I cut the size six which I think is like a US size 14 16 or something like that I don't know I cut it way too big I definitely cut the top too big and then when I tried to go and fix it fix it Jesus I could not this is also made out of a black bed sheet but this isn't it cute it has the nice little sweetheart neckline it has very thick straps so you can wear your bra which is important um i don't know it was just constructed very very well i mean the the draft the drafting of the pattern is bomb so i'm going to make this again it's so pretty i think i even this is of course it's a bed sheet so this is my muslin so um I may wear this like under some things with some jeans possibly the top isn't bad it's just really big on the side so I guess I could take that in there's a facing though anyway I'll figure all that out that y'all don't care about that the pants are so bomb I wish they fit they were so big so long my booty looked like I was wearing a diaper ain't nobody got time for that but it has an elastic waistband um it has the cute little slit pockets and they're deep 
um it has darts to the back and the front it was just a fail so i'm definitely going it's in my plans for i forget what month this year anyway it's in my plans to have a go at it again and i i made notes about the fit and things like that so i'm definitely gonna make these again because these are like dressy joggers and i love um, so yeah, definitely gonna make those again. That's my large stack of things. Move you over. I'm wearing one of my January makes right now. Um, I'll do a separate video in February about the things that I decided to make in January. But here's one of them. This um, oversized um, bow. The real name is Pussy Bow, but I'm just not gonna call it that. <laughs> it's like bow neck bow neck tie i don't know i love these they just add a little bit of to everything so i may make a polka dotted one i think and maybe an all white one i love this style i have a pattern for january that is the um bow blouse where this is a part of the sheer you know give you everything blouse i did want to share with you guys real quick um the fabrics that i found at craftland for those of you who may be in the uae and are looking for somewhere to find um, fabrics and sewing accoutrement and all of that stuff i'll show you a little bit of what i found um i am going to go back because i need to get a couple more um items and things like that so anyway i found these two knit fabrics and they did not this was like two out of the five knit fabrics literally that they had so it's this really pretty purple and this really pretty green i have joined the hashtag so my style 2018 challenge and so for january the dress was the or the item was the sunny dress by friday patterns i made it out of this um green fabric for my daughter um so if she is feeling up to it we'll take pictures and show you um she's a teenager so she may or may not be feeling it but the colors are beautiful rich and you know but i can see y'all <laughs> through here can y'all see like it's so see-through so i don't know what else i'm going to make out of these there is a floaty dress by closet case files or closet case patterns company something closet case and it's called the ebony t an ebony t dress and it's kind of like this floaty a-line situation so it's not doing a lot of pulling around the body and things like that so i think i'm going to make that for my 12 year old um she saw that pattern she really liked it so um yeah i'm gonna do that for her this video is going to end up being super long but thank y'all for rocking with me anyway okay, so this is the fabric that i'm going to make my bow blouse out of it is sheer which i love and it has these pretty little flowers on it so it reads as a solid black from far away which i also love and i like to mix things up a lot of things up um so you'll definitely see this paired with a lot of things and the last fabric i found i absolutely loved this is everything do y'all see this I don't know why I love it so much. How many, how much did I get? Okay, so I think I got five meters of this beautiful checked black and white fabric. I think it's cotton. This craft shop did not have like descriptions or names or anything on the bolts of fabric. It was just up there, girl. Um, so I got like five meters. I'm going to make myself a pair of high-waisted pants from this. Honor has requested that I do her Tilly in the Buttons Cleo dungaree overalls from this as well. Um, 
it might be okay i don't think it's gonna wrinkle but it's not as thick as a corduroy or a denim um, is of course that's ideal so i'll be making more of those later that is cleo Cleo is in my January plans, so I think that I'll shoot that after this. My plans for January slash February to share that with you guys. Anyway, after all of that, thank you guys for joining me today as I share one of my um, passions, one of my hobbies, one of my loves. One, uh, it, it lives in my room. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. This little chit chat share situation if you guys like this video or want to continue to see me in my journey of diy crafting randomness <laughs> go ahead and like this video please feel free to leave a comment down below let me know what you guys want to see if you want me to do more beauty things please request it because those may weigh down a little bit you want to know about this crazy mop on my head go ahead and leave a comment down below for that and if you just want to hang out with me and have some girlfriend time that is all good too i'm always down for that i am anyway i think i'm going to go ahead and film another video and i will see you guys in the next video bye